Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So I'm just gonna wait for some of you guys to come in here because I have an update regarding Jeannie Mai, Jeezy, and her mother, Mama Mai, you guys. It is not looking good. So I'm just gonna wait for some of you guys to come in here. I have some footage to share with you guys as well in this video. Um, so yes, welcome. I see some of you guys getting in here. Thank you for being here, you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome to our tribe. We have lots of fun here. So you guys, um, I have been sharing with you some updates regarding Jeannie Mai and her relationship with Jeezy, her soon-to-be ex-husband, it appears. He filed for divorce in June, and um, Jeannie Mai is desperate to continue to fight for her marriage. She has been saging the house. She also is feeling houseless. Uh, she plans to move to Atlanta to be with Jeezy. And by the way, uh, Jeezy is celebrating his birthday right now as well. Um, he has turned 46 years old. And just some disturbing things that um, I found out here. And it is just the mother. The mother disrespected Jeannie Mai's husband in his own home. Okay. Um, she flew in without notice. Jeezy did not know that she was coming to his place or their place. Um, Jeannie did not tell Jeezy this. And Jeezy pretty much was, um, you know, home alone. He was, Jeannie wasn't there. Okay. So I'm just giving you guys the backstory. He was home alone. And when he's at home, he likes to wear, you know, shorts and stuff like that, you know, in the comfort of his house. Okay. And Mama Mai, you know, comes there with five luggages, um, her wigs. Uh, her shoes, and she starts using Jeezy's uh, closet. She noticed that he had a very big closet and stuff like that. So she thought that she can start putting all her shoes and everything, her wigs, her clothes, and everything in this man's closet. So he calls Jeannie and says, how long is your mom going to be here? Then Jeannie says, I don't know, probably just a couple days you know, a couple of days or maybe a week. And then Mama Mai never left. She never left. The person who actually ended up leaving the house is him, leaving it to Jeannie Mai and her mom. Uh, but yeah, she basically took over his closet and everything. And I'm going to blame Jeannie Mai for this, for her lack of communication. And also the mom too, because this mom feels so comfortable to do this. So in this video, I want to um, play for you um, just Jeannie Mai in her own words saying this. And this is not like a joke. And you'll hear how people enable Jeannie Mai as well. When she shares all her bizarre stories and everything, for her, this is hilarious. This is funny. Even like her colleagues or people around her were finding it so funny that Jeannie Mai's mom went to Jeezy's house and started using his closet. And Jeezy had a problem with this, she said. He didn't like this. Like, this is wrong. Like, how can, you know, my mother-in-law just go into my closet? And he's a rapper too, you guys, as well. So rappers, you know that they love their sneaker collections and all this kind of stuff. They also like to collect a lot of different things. For example, like different wardrobes, different styles, and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, of course, this guy is going to have you know, so many different like designer things and everything. Things might be labeled as well and custom made, all that kind of stuff. She moved this guy's stuff to the side and decided that sh her shoes need to be all in this closet. By the way, this is Jeezy's actual closet as well. He has so many property. He has lots of shoes, lots of clothes, all that kind of stuff. But this is the like the residence where he's usually at. And Jeannie Mai's mom just went in there and just invaded this man's closet. And I think that this, this was really 
um, yeah, this was really the start of uh, this this man feeling like I can't do this anymore. If you guys want to take over my home and all that kind of stuff, then you know what? I might as well go live in my other properties and you and your mom can be together. OK, so I want to play for you um, this audio for you guys to listen to. And it's Jeannie Mai herself in her own words. And I want to give credits to YouTube star Tisa Tells, who actually did some digging and found this out. So stay tuned, you guys. Um, give this video a like if you're just tuning in. I want to play for you the audio so you can hear for yourself. Very interesting. I remember the phone call. I wasn't home, but she flew in and, and Jay was at home. And he, he, he said, babe, your mom just flew in. I got her at the airport. <laughs> How long is she staying again? I was like, I don't know, like a couple days, maybe a week. He's like, there are five luggages, four pack boxes, three wigs, and a whole gang of shoes that she just put in my closet. What do I do? And I was like, dang, and I know her because she's lived with me, remember? Yeah. And, and in the Asian culture... You don't even have to ask. Like, right. you're in, you know, your mom could go, like, stay with yeah. you guys, and it's no big deal. She's there to care her. for you, to right. nurture you. That's, not, you're that's like, that, not Jeezy's style, and he's right, not right, short. Right. Like, my mom, like, all of a sudden, walking by him while he's in his shorts, like, she's like, hi, how you doing? You know, it's like, weird. <laughs> Let me ask you, you know, a lot. Did you just hear that? Um, she's walking by this guy. He's in his shorts. He's in his house and all of this kind of stuff. This guy was feeling very uncomfortable in his own home. You know, and Jeannie Mai even said this was weird, you know, and as you can see, like he's wearing his boxers and stuff like this. And Jeannie Mai's mom is just raiding his closet, doing whatever she wants to do. And she's calling herself mom boss as well. And it's just made me think, does, was Jeannie Mai's mom doing this on purpose to, you know, destroy this marriage? Like, does she have a goal in mind that, you know, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to see if I create some sort of, you know, issue and drama in this house, can I possibly make this man leave my daughter alone? Like, I don't know. It just, it seems very bizarre to me. So I decided to try to figure out like, why is my mom I really living with Jeannie Mai? And guess what I found out? Jeannie Mai said that the reason why the mom started living with her was to help her during her divorce. Okay? But Mama Mai never left. She continued to stay with her even after the divorce, you guys. Mama Mai is supposed to live with her husband, Ted. They've been married for 15 years. Jeannie Mai just found out like after like she just two years ago or something, you know, that they were married. You know, it, it's just very bizarre. She thought this man was always her uncle. OK, so in this next video, I want you to listen to how this man feels and take a look at how Jeannie Mai's mom is also slapping this man so much. And this is supposed to be funny. Jeannie Mai finds this funny, but the same way that the mom treats this guy is the same way I think that Jeannie Mai was treating her first husband and wanted to treat Jeezy as well if he would allow it, but I guess he wouldn't. Take a look. Hey. This is Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. Every time Mama Mai is shooting this show, she is away from you. You are all the way in Houston and Mama Mai is here in LA. So I have to thank you because you let me spend so much time with my mom, but then she's not there for you. How are you on that? I'm okay. She, she's, you know, she's doing stuff that she loves. So that's good. So wait, knowing that I only found out about Uncle Ted two years ago, when you guys have been together for how long? 15, 15 years, years this time. Yeah, 15. I found out two years ago. Wow. Okay, so do you see how the man is being controlled? Ted? Do you notice how, you know, she slaps the guy out, you know, upside the head and all this kind of stuff, you know, putting hands on him. And then at the same time, this guy, Jeannie Meyer was also feeling kind of sorry for him, but he's like, it's okay. It's okay that, you know, she's not with me. She's doing something that she loves because Mama Mai thinks that she is a star of the YouTube channel. And I played for you guys um, also a video yesterday in my live of the son saying that the mom 
this whole television stuff and appearances on the reel and just everything that's led to her stardom has really gotten to her head. Okay. But notice how also she treats the husband. And then imagine how she was also treating this guy. He was also feeling bad. Jeezy did not like the fact that the mom was walking in on him in his shorts and all that kind of stuff. He felt very uncomfortable. But when the mom started invading his closet, you know, putting all her shoes there, putting her wigs, her clothes and everything, I think that this was going too far because you guys, I don't even see my own mom doing something like that. Like, that's not how you treat your son-in-law. Like, you have to have boundaries. You can't be using your own son-in-law's closet to put your clothes. And at the same time, you nobody even informed this guy and he's the man of the house. Nobody told him that she was coming, including Jeannie. And Jeannie also lied to him as well. Okay? Like, he asked, when is she leaving? Jeannie Mai said, oh, probably in a couple days. Like the mom comes unannounced. And then Jeannie was like, well, it, in the Vietnamese house, she doesn't even need to ask. But the thing is, it's not really a Vietnamese house. It's a black man, an African-American man's house, right? So it's not really a Vietnamese house, right? <laughs> like, let's be honest. This is not a Vietnamese man's house. This man does not know their culture. He doesn't come from their cultural background. He is not a Vietnamese son-in-law, you guys. So that's the thing too. He wants to be at home working out. He lost 60 pounds, you know? So what he likes to do when he's at the house is work out in front of the pool and stuff like that. He also does some fitness stuff in the house. But every day, this guy was waking up to walking around and the mom is like, hey, honey, hey, honey. And he felt really awkward because he's wearing his shorts and stuff. And just her, you know, making comments and all this kind of stuff was just very cringe. And Jeannie also said in the in the video, sorry, in the audio that I played for you guys, she also said, like, this is really uncomfortable, like, you know, like, it's very weird. You know, he feels weird about all of this. So how come this guy cannot feel comfortable in his own home? You guys, this is this is something else. Like he can't even like when he go gets ready and stuff like that, he has to go in the closet. And Jeannie Mai's mom has access as well to his closet because her clothes are also there, too. And it's like, why can't she put her stuff with Jeannie Mai stuff like her daughter's stuff? I mean, you guys, these people are living in a mansion. They're celebrities. Is there not enough space? And by the way, why is this mom showing up unannounced? This is this is the thing. Unannounced, walking around the mansion, calling herself uh, mom boss and everything like this. And this guy doesn't even feel comfortable. You know, he can't walk around. Like, he's wearing shorts, boxers. He can't feel comfortable. This is just, and by the way, you guys, this is Jeannie Mai's words, okay? So how do you think the mom, like, okay, first of all, let's start off here. How do you think the mom behaves if Jean, when Jeannie Mai told him, look, he doesn't like this? She never left. She never left. Okay, and I think that this has caused serious issues because some of you guys were saying, I don't think it's the mom. I don't think it's the mom and whatever and all of this. But now that you're hearing that this this mom in law showed up to his house unannounced, he did not know any of this. And he started seeing bo boxes. Yeah, she brought some boxes. She brought five luggages. She brought some wigs, like three wigs. She brought a whole bunch of shoes. And she was putting stuff in his closet. What does this say? Like, this is somebody that I think even if it's Vietnamese culture or whatever, you guys, um, no, there's still respect. There's still a level of respect. I don't think that this is how all Vietnamese uh, mother-in-laws behave. I mean, I don't know, but this is very disrespectful. Would she have done this to Jeannie Mai's first husband, Freddie? She didn't even live with Jeannie Mai when she was married for 11 years, over 11 years. She didn't live with Jeannie Mai. She gave Jeannie Mai privacy. You know, so why does she feel now 
that, you know, she can invade this guy's home because he's married to Jeannie? Is it because she likes his properties? And also, did you notice she doesn't like living in her husband's house? I think she doesn't like her husband's house because it's probably not a mansion. It's probably not in like a wealthy community, right? So it's not up to the standard that she wants. And so she likes being at her daughter's house because she gets spoiled over there. She can do whatever she wants. She loves to control everybody. Okay, so I think that's why she likes staying at Jeezy's place and putting her wardrobe there and everything. And that's why she never left because she noticed it's just so much better than staying with her husband. You know, she has access to she has access to so much stuff. And all the same at the same time, she loves filming, getting her hair and makeup done for the YouTube channel as well, you guys. But when you heard the uh Jeannie Mai talk about the phone call that she received from Jeezy when he found her mother in his house, he wasn't happy, you guys. So I don't, I don't even know what's going on with Jeannie Mai's mom. Um, yeah, why is she? Thank you, Sergeant King. Great to see you. Sergeant King says, why is she there? Why is she in their bedroom? Period. Yeah, you guys. Like, this is just too much. Like, my own mother, you guys, you know, one time, like, I was with my mom, and I was, like, talking with her or whatever. I was in my bedroom, and she was, like, you know, my bedroom with my partner, our bedroom. And then my mom, like, I told my mom, like, oh, have a seat, like, on the bed. My mom was, like, no, I can't sit on the bed. I can't. No, I have to respect I have to respect your bed. No, I can't sit on your bed. My mom sat on a table because she's like, no, I can't do that. I have to sit on the table or whatever. Like, no, like a desk. It was No, it's not a desk, but a short little table. Like, a, yeah, like a little table in the bedroom. She sat there. She would not sit on the bed. But to go this far and start putting her clothes in closets in the bedroom, you guys, this is going too far. This is going too far. <laughs> too far. She just shoved this guy's stuff over to the side and was like, oh, no, I'm her mother. So I get to, um, you know, to put all my stuff in here and stuff like that. And it's just like, oh, no, this is too much. And then the disrespect. Look at how she treats the, the husband. It was just not good. Wow. So anyway, I just want to share this with you guys, that Mama Mai's behavior, this guy also had enough of it. But Jeannie Mai is also an enab enabling the mom's bad behavior to you guys, because Jeannie Mai has not set those boundaries to tell her mom, look, mom, you're married. She thinks it's almost funny. And she's also thanking her husband for letting her mom spend so much time with her. Did you notice that? She's like, well, how do you feel about that? She, She's always with me. How do you feel? And you can just see this man is so controlled. And he's like, oh, oh, well, you know, she's happy. She's doing what she likes. But first of all, Mama Mai would not be doing a lot of the stuff that she's doing if it wasn't for Jeannie Mai. But then she also doesn't treat her daughter very well either, you guys. Okay, the relationship between her and her daughter are not good at all. So it's just like, wow. When I saw the way she was treating her husband, I was like, okay, this is all starting to come together now. Okay. So I think when Jeannie Mai was saying how she was also treating uh, Jeezy and all this kind of stuff, yelling at him and everything. Okay. It makes sense. So anyway, um, I, I'm starting to understand now why this man was like, uh, this lady is out of control when he walked into his closet, saw this lady was taking over, he was like, no, I can't do this. She's disrespectful. Jeannie continues to allow her mom to disrespect me in my own house. I, I can't, I can't deal with this. I think that definitely this led towards a divorce, you guys, uh, just because like, come on. Let me know if you guys are married or whatever. Uh, you live with your man and your mom has try to move into your place or just came unannounced and then started um 
you know, using all the closets and also putting all her stuff in your man's closet, her shoes, wigs, everything. Okay. Has that happened to you before? And are you still with that guy? Like, how did he feel after this? You know, let me know. Cause I mean, this is the first time I'm hearing these bizarre stories of Jeannie Mai, her mom, her family. This just seems so toxic. And by the way, Jeannie Mai did not wish Jeezy happy birthday today, but I'm sure she's seeing everything on Instagram because I was, um, he is celebrating his birthday and he is also letting fans listen to his music. He streams some music today on his birthday. And, um, yeah, so he is doing a performance as well somewhere. And so Jeannie Mai really wants to be celebrating the birthday with him, but she did not make a post, a public post on her daughter's Instagram because she has one for her daughter and Instagram for her daughter, uh, Monaco, or on her Instagram. She didn't wish him happy birthday or anything. Uh, she desperately wanted to be celebrating his birthday with him today, but the way things are looking, you guys, I think Jeannie Mai is starting to realize that this is real. Uh, this guy wants pro nothing to do with the family. Um, I also heard that he doesn't want to reconcile. Uh, he's used to being respected, you guys, especially when he's in uh, Los Angeles. People treat him really well. So in his own household, you know, he is treated like basically, I guess, like garbage. Uh, nobody respects him in his own house. Uh, you know, it seems like they all look low at him. Jeannie Mai disrespects him. The mom disrespects him. Um, he doesn't appear to have much of a voice. So I guess that's the reason why he decided to just walk away and be like, well, you know what? Why don't you just stay with your mom? I'll take my things. I'll leave. She can have my whole closet. She can have my whole closet. She can take everything. I'm going to take my stuff. I'm going to leave. You can stay with your mom. You can stay with your brother and your stepdad, Ted. I'm out. He has not been living with Jeannie Mai for these two years that they've been married, you guys. They don't see each other even that much. So what kind of marriage is this? Does it make sense? Like, really? What kind of marriage do people live apart? And he says that he is a traditional kind of man. You know, Jeannie Mai is now, after this man has filed for divorce, is now planning to move to Atlanta, I'm hearing. You know, and I don't think it's a good idea, by the way, you guys, because like I told you in my previous video, she needs to back off a little bit. The way she's doing things um, is very desperate. We know that she is, you know, really wanting to get this guy's attention and stuff like that. But if she's not careful, he might follow a restraining order on her as well. And you guys also said that if someone files for divorce and everything, you can't just show up to their premises. You can't just show up to their property just like that unannounced as well. So she has to be careful because this guy has had enough of her behavior. And Jeannie Mai says that in her luggage, uh, when she's in LA, she likes to, you know, she's going to pull out the sage and all that kind of stuff. This is what she likes to do to get rid of the bad energy and everything like that. I don't think that this guy is going to appreciate anything like that. Um, the, the bad energy is so deep. You know, this guy is literally just trying to walk away. He said as well in his interviews that all he wants is peace. That's all he wants right now in his life. He He's he's done with all of this. He endured so much drama, I guess, or whatever during this time in his life. The older he's getting, he just wants peace. But Jeannie Mai thinks that by burning sage and all this kind of stuff in the home, in Jeezy's house. By the way, this is Jeezy's property. This is his house. Um, that she is in, um, it, it's not going to work. And dealing with this family, he should have known better, you guys. I don't feel sorry for Jeezy. Just so you know, I don't feel sorry for him at all. He, he should have studied this family closely and um, realized that there's chaos. Um, you can see him in the background over there, you guys. These are the last shots of him um, in the home with Jeannie Mai and the mom was in another room. The, the They had a screaming match in this situation, by the way. I played the video for you guys in yesterday's video. Uh, Jeannie Mai knew that her and her mom were going to start their screaming match. 
um, G, uh, Jeezy walk by, you can see him after he finishes workout. Cause this is what he usually does. He does his workout. He's very committed to that. And then after that, Jeannie Mai checked her back, made sure that Jeezy was not around. Then they started screaming at each other and it just was going on and on and on. So it was bad. Okay. Check out my previous video and, um, you can, you can see for yourself. Um, it's just, it's really bad. By the way, I found out who the guy is as well. On the top right corner, he's really the producer. I was right. He is the producer that Jeannie Mai and her family has been working with. This man has been drained. Dealing with this family and the chaos, this is when the screaming match started. It was just too much. Way, way too much. But anyway, what do you guys think about Jeannie Mai not informing Jeezy that her mom was moving in, not coming as a guest? You guys, someone who's a guest is not bringing five luggages, like three boxes, all these wigs, all these shoes and everything. That's a person that's actually moving in. Like someone who's staying, she said a couple days or a few days. You guys, that's not a few days. Five luggages? <laughs> oh, geez. No, that's not a few days. And it's almost like, and Jeannie also said, well, you know, we're Vietnamese, so she doesn't even need to ask. And her just taking that stand alone and just saying that, like, she doesn't even need to ask, shows me right there that Jeannie Mai does not have any kind of respect for him. Because if somebody has, if you have respect for someone you're or you're a man, you're going to ask him first, like, hey, is it okay? Like with you, I don't know if you have any plans or anything um, at home or anything like that. Uh, you know, do you think it's okay for my mom to come and stay with us for a couple of days and stuff like that? She just wants to visit us. I think that's polite. Honestly, I think that's polite because even me, I would like to be asked as well because sometimes you just want to relax in your house. You want to feel peaceful in your home and all that kind of stuff. And then when you're not aware who's coming over and stuff like that, you, you just don't feel good. It's nice to know ahead of time so you feel prepared. But Jeannie Mai felt that she could just make the actually not even make a decision on anything like her mom can come anytime and that's the thing where this guy felt like no your mom can't just show up here whenever she wants you know you should ask you should ask me if it's okay it's also my house too this is well it's technically his house you know but no um genie Mai did not care and even in that voice audio she was saying um, she doesn't need to ask, well, how come Jeannie Mai's mom is doing all of this stuff now, you guys, but she never did it to her during her first marriage. What is this all about? Does she want to destroy this girl's relationship? Is she purposely trying to create chaos in Jeannie Mai's relationship? Does she not like Jeezy? That's what it's also making me think. Is she purposely doing this so then she can create some sort of issue between the couple? You know, I wonder about that because it just seems so bizarre the way she's she's invading his privacy, coming unannounced, not even respecting him as a son-in-law because, you know, as a mother-in-law for you to be, you know, going in the same closet as your son-in-law and putting all your stuff there, and then your your son-in-law is walking around and stuff like that around the house and you think it's okay for you to, you know, like your son-in-law feels uncomfortable. You're looking at him, you know, when he is walking around in his shorts, he doesn't feel comfortable with this kind of, um, yeah, like he doesn't feel comfortable with that kind of like, um, arrangement <laughs> you know what i mean like is can i say arrangement like it's just it's not something that he's comfortable with you guys just i think it's out of respect i think also Jeezy is trying to respect his mother-in-law like i don't want to be wearing boxer shorts and stuff like that in front of my mom my uh mother-in-law 
I want to be respectful. I want to respect her and everything. And I think that that's a good thing that he is doing that. But, you know, the guy can't even just relax and have peace. Jeannie Mai is also yelling at him as well, you guys. She's yelling at him as well. And now she's saying she's feeling used by this guy. So just imagine, like, he, he feels like he walked away from chaos. So, wow, 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 you guys. <laughs> the Jeannie Mai story, it, it is something else. It really is something else, you guys. Like, it is beyond um, never, never talked about a celebrity, a uh, couple like this. Uh, this is just, um, extreme. Jeezy thought that, um, uh, Jeannie Mai's family was very conservative and all this kind of stuff. And no, they're not conservative at all. There's lots of issues in this household. And that's the reason why he decided to walk away. Um, the mother-in-law does not have boundaries. You know, the guy cannot walk around his house without her calling him, hey, honey, hello, honey. And he's just feeling really uncomfortable with these things. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is not a guy that's used to all of this. It's just very bizarre. Okay. That's what she said that he says to her. She says that to him when he's walking by in his shorts and all that kind of stuff. It's just weird. Like, who wants this, you guys? Oh my God. Like, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Ladies, the mother-in-law that's going too far, way, way too far. And the daughter that continues to also disrespect her husband as well and allows her mom to get away with all of this. And we already saw how the mom also treats her own husband. So how do you think she treats him? I would not be surprised if Mama Mai also slapped Jeezy on his head as well. The same way she slaps her husband, I would not be surprised if she also slaps his head as well. Oh, yeah, you guys. What makes you think that she couldn't do that to him? I would not be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be. I can see her doing that. If she can go into this man's closet and he is not fully dressed at times, she doesn't even care. She has no respect. She has no boundaries at all. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, Jeannie Mai and her family, you guys. Wow. What kind of mother is this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, Arnisha says, hey, Arnisha, thank you so much for being here. Um, okay, you guys. So Seeking Him Daily says, we'll watch the replay in a few hours. Oh, it's 3 a.m. Okay, here it is 1.20 a.m. Love from Canada, everyone. Thanks for being present. Give this video a thumbs up if you are watching. We are talking about, wow, the Mize and the Jenkins. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, he's a diva. You guys, Jeezy has a lot of things going on. He really does. He's not innocent either. Uh, but you know how rappers are too, you guys. They have a lot of collections of stuff. So if we kind of put ourselves in his shoes, you know, his stuff are collector items and all that kind of stuff. And as a rapper, they have to wear like different clothes and different looks and all that kind of stuff too. So for him, his closet is like, you know, it's his own closet. So he has all his runners, Nikes, you know, all these old fashioned stuff, Jordan and all that kind of stuff, you know, collectibles or whatever. Um, he does not need his mother-in-law to be inside his closet. You guys, ladies, if we put ourselves also in his shoes, we have our closet, our space. We don't want anyone to just go through our closet, move our stuff around and all that kind of stuff too, right? Let me have a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> so I can understand like this rapper wants his space Nikki Montana says wow yeah you guys Jeannie Mai's mom was up in here and this guy just felt completely violated like just get out but she he can't say that to Jeannie but Jeannie knew that Jeezy did not want the mom there but she has done nothing about it that's the thing. And I also think that Jeannie Mai's mom might also be very clingy. Well, she is actually not might. She's very clingy. 
And at the same time, I think that she feels like because she decided to give birth to Jeannie Mai and choose Jeannie Mai against her own parents' will, because her parents told her that Jeannie Mai was dark and ugly, a dark and ugly baby, and that she should get rid of the child, but she decided not to. So maybe she feels like because she never abandoned Jeannie Mai, that Jeannie Mai should always pick her over her husband. And so Jeannie Mai feels stuck. Like, I can't let go of my mom over a man. I can't do this. This lady is just inserting herself in this marriage. Like, it's just, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. But Jeannie herself, you guys, she has lots of issues too. Okay, let's not forget that. Uh, she has a lot of issues as well. Uh, she doesn't even respect this guy either. Okay, she doesn't. Um, not at all. And that's the reason why I believe that her mom also disrespects him too, is because um, he she realized that the daughter can disrespect him, so she can do it too. So that's why they're both they're both like you know uh, not treating him too well. He walked away from it all, you guys. Walked away from it all. Jeannie Mai thinks that Sage can help the situation, and no. It can, Jeannie. It's not going to work. Janita says, this is such a toxic. This is such a toxic. So sick of these celebrities. You guys, celebrities with big homes and the mother-in-law does not have room to put all her clothing that she has to go into her son-in-law's closet and put all her wigs, her shoes, and clothes, you guys. This is, is this rich people problems? Not enough walk-in closet space. Um, let's see here. Uh, Janita says they need they need to divorce, take the loss and keep it moving. Yeah, you guys, it, it needs to end for sure. Like this is not good at all. Uh, Jeannie Mai also planning to relocate to be with him in Los Angeles and all this kind of stuff. She needs to be careful because I think this guy can get authorities after her, to be honest with you. She has to be careful. Um, he doesn't care. He really does not care at this point. No sage is going to help this. No. No, no, no. Two years, it was. It seemed like it was hell for him. Um, he might be with her, you guys. He might take her back. Who knows? Some people are saying maybe this is fake. But the more stories I keep hearing, uh, this was a very toxic relationship. And this guy was not even living with Jeannie Mai as well. Sergeant King, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, Janita says, I got to go. <laughs> Take care, Janita. Cheers. Yes, Sergeant King. Yes, the closet is so filled up. So filled up. And that's the reason why she needed room and all that kind of stuff for her things and to put all her clothes and all that kind of stuff. So she saw, wow, my son-in-law has a nice closet, so many shoes. That's Jeezy on his phone calling Jeannie like, what's your mom doing here? What is she doing here? What, what's all these wigs? Where's Why are all these boxes here? Five luggages. And then Jeannie's lying. She knew her mom was going to come move in. Uh, hey, great to see you, Trey. Trey says, hi, everyone. Oh, Colorado here. Oh. Yeah, you guys, it is something else. The mom has no boundaries. None at all. A lot of issues. Yes. Yep. Um, wait, she didn't know a black man. What? They're going to take it? Do you, do you think a black man will take it, you guys? Because <laughs> he, he didn't. <laughs> you guys, I, I don't think so. Do you think a black man is going to, like, continue to put up with all of this? Also, the mom and the, like, everybody yelling at him, every, like, everybody just disrespecting him. Like, they have no respect for him at all. And then this guy is so respected in his hood and where he is. And now Jeannie Mai is, like, trying so hard to, like, beg him and everything. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm going to change. I'm going to be submissive. I promise. I won't do this again. All this kind of stuff. And I heard that he doesn't even want to reconcile with her. 
No matter how much Jeannie Mai continues to beg this guy, he's out. It's just not working. And she'll always be walking on eggshells in this relationship, you guys. Always. So she needs to stop because the more she keeps doing this, it's going to pull this guy away. Because he said he's looking for peace. He's sick, sick and tired of this drama. He thought that Jeannie Mai's family... He really valued the fact that she had a family and everything because he didn't have a family growing up. And he thought that she's so close to her family. But Jeannie Mai does not have a good relationship with her mom. Everything is just for the YouTube channel and the cameras are on. It's all an act. So, yeah, by the way, you guys, April Morgan, thank you. April actually said, no, I said I didn't. She didn't know. Black man wasn't going to take it. Yep. Take it that long. He left. When he started realizing that this family was very toxic, the mom got pregnant at 16 years old. The dad was a cheater. Uh, the grandpa was saying Jeannie Mai was dark and ugly. Get rid of her. Um, it was just so toxic. Jeannie Mai ran away at 16 years old. She started doing makeup for dancers and just also her story. It's just a lot, you guys, honestly. I'm learning so much about Jeannie Mai and her family. I did not know these things before, you guys. It's just everything that just keeps coming out is, wow, wow. Very disrespectful, you guys. Yes. Alita, I agree. It's just disrespectful. Leave the man's closet alone. Like, even as, like, a wife, like, you should, like, have your husband stuff, like, that's your husband's stuff. Like, why would you let somebody, like, your own mom should know this. And Jeannie Mai wasn't even there to receive her mom. You know, she just, the mom was like, well, I can just show up anytime and just start putting my stuff everywhere. She doesn't have Jeezy's phone number to even call him. And to be like, what are you guys doing this weekend? Can I come by and see you guys or, you know, or anything like that? Oh, I want to come by. I want to see the baby or something. Nope. She decided to move in on her own. On her own. And I think also Jeannie Mai and the mom make decisions on their own. And I think they also wanted to test this guy to see how calm can this guy be? How much can he take? And if he can take it, like, you know how her husband, oh, by the way, that's another thing. <laughs> I just thought about this. I think that um, Jeannie Mai's mom's husband actually likes being away from her. Because this is a lady that you can only take in small doses. Oh, yeah. You guys, the way the man's face looked when he was talking about her being away from him. She slaps him twice. She keeps slapping the guy. Look at just dis disrespectful. I need to play this video again. But Mama Mai's husband's in the middle, you guys. But it seemed like there was some happiness and joy that this guy had. Like, oh, I'm so glad that this wife of mine can be away from me because she's just too toxic. She's just always putting hands on me and everything. Um, but look at the joy in this man's face. The fact that Jeezy and Jeannie Mai are housing um, his wife. Look at the joy in his face. Take a look. Say hello. Say hello. Every time Mama Mai is shooting this show, she is away from you. You are all the way in Houston and Mama Mai's here in LA. So I have to thank you because you let me spend so much time with my mom, but then she's not there for you. How are you on that? I'm okay. She, she's, you know, she's doing stuff that she loves, so that's good. So wait, knowing that I only found out about Uncle Ted two years ago, when you guys have been together for how long? 15, 15 years, years this time. Yeah, 15. I found out two yeah. years ago. The guy's so happy. He's so happy. Um, he can only handle her in small doses. I think he is so grateful for Jeezy for living with these ladies and just dealing with everything on his own the way he was. He's like, you know what? Maybe this black guy can handle this. At least when she's not with me, I get to relax and drink my tea and go for my walk and do my, I don't know, feng shui and 
you know, or whatever. Um, you know what I mean? Like those slow movements. It's kind of like, not like yoga, but it's called feng shui. Um, older, older people like to do that, like seniors and stuff. So this guy's probably like, I'm just so happy because I get peace when she's not around me. So the guy just looked like he was actually really happy not to be around Mama Mai either. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think this guy's not going to be happy if Mama Mai comes back to him, living with him full time. I don't think he's going to be happy with that because it's, she's draining, okay? The mom is so draining. And his wife is so focused. She thinks she's a big celebrity. That's another thing. She thinks she's a celebrity. And she walks around Jeezy's house with this sign that says mom boss. <laughs> so it's like, OMG. <laughs> OMG. Um, Sergeant King is asking for my email. Sergeant King, it's sundayomani at gmail.com. Yes, please feel free to send me any video requests, you guys. Also connect with me on Instagram. I'm also on, well, Instagram is the best place to find me. I'm on TikTok and Facebook as well, but Instagram is great. And on TikTok, I do send, I do check my messages as well. Okay. So if any of you guys want to get in touch with me, please contact me sundayomini at gmail.com. All right, you guys, I think I saw all your messages. Did I? Um, let's see here. Morgan is saying trash. <laughs> Run. Yep. You guys, these are healthy relationships. Sergeant King, this is boundaries. This is respect. Sergeant King says, no, we were both military and always visited our parents. So we didn't have any problems. See, that's the thing. When there's healthy relationships like this, like what you had, Sergeant King, uh, this guy didn't have peace at all dealing and living with the in-laws and all that kind of stuff. It was too much. And the mom doesn't understand her boundaries. Thanks, Sergeant King, for sharing this. You guys, Sergeant King is our military lady. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, you guys, thank you. Um, Adriana, great to see you. Adriana says, I used to watch her YouTube channel, and I remember that for Jeannie Mai's engagement breakfast, Mama Mai made it all about herself. Mama Mai is a narc, you guys. Mama Mai is all about herself, all about herself. So this story that Jeannie Mai shared, Jeannie Mai is being honest, it's true. But the fact that she can share this, it's also embarrassing. Does she think that also Jeezy hearing her share that his mom-in-law took over his whole closet is something that this man actually, you know, wants the public to hear about? A guy that wants to be respected in society. He wants to be seen as a boss. He's trying to like move forward in his career and all this kind of stuff. Do you think that he wants other people to hear that he's a man that's not respected in his own house? That his wife and his mother-in-law do not even inform him that she is coming over and she moves in without even his consent? You know what I mean? Like, do you think that Jeezy would find that funny, you guys? That she's even sharing such a story? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Because that's something that she called. He called Jeannie in confidence. He called Jeannie to tell her, your mom just flew in here with all this luggage and boxes and wigs. And she's putting them in my closet you know, how long is she going to be here? That is someone who's concerned. That is someone who does not want you there. But this woman is being so pushy, so pushy because she is loving the celebrity lifestyle. She believes that she's a celebrity. I even heard her saying to the baby, Monaco, that you're more famous than Mama Mai and you don't even do anything. So Mama Mai feels like She's actually more talented than her own daughter. 
like her daughter is not that talented, that she's the one that actually makes the YouTube channel what it is. That if it wasn't for her, maybe her daughter wouldn't be, you know what I mean? Like her daughter wouldn't even be getting that many views. Because when Mama Mai's on the YouTube channel and stuff, they get a lot of views. And Mama Mai is aware of that. But anyway, I will not be surprised if Mama Mai gets her own, like starts her own YouTube channel because she doesn't want to share the platform with her daughter because I just see issues. There's just big issues between both of them. And it's just, oh my gosh, you guys, it is just toxic. But the mom is the one that's telling Jeannie Mai, you can't be a single mom. You have to go beg this guy and all this kind of stuff. I don't think that Mama Mai really likes Jeezy that much. That's what I'm going to conclude with. You know, I didn't really say that before, but I'm starting to think that Mama Mai didn't really like this guy. No. Because if she did, she wouldn't have been doing all of these things. I think that, I don't know, there's just something I just feel like she didn't really like this guy or something, because why would she want to destroy her daughter's home, right? Like, why would she want to force herself, you know? Like, why? I know she likes being a celebrity and all this kind of stuff. She says she loves people noticing her and everything because of her daughter, because if she goes to Houston, I think nobody knows her there. So that's the reason why she loves hanging around Jeannie Mai and Jeezy and all this kind of stuff. Uh, because people recognize her in those places, in Los Angeles, in Atlanta, people are going to recognize her. But in Houston, where her husband lives, you know, she's not being treated like a celebrity and all that kind of stuff, right? So she doesn't want to live a quiet, peaceful life. She wants to be seen and, oh, my goodness. And she's just created so much chaos. Chaos! <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will get going now. I think I read all your messages. Be sure to connect with me on all my socials at Sunday Omni as well. Um, <laughs> and uh, what was I going to say? Um, uh, I think I read, did I read all of it? Oh, Sergeant King, it says, Uh, Sergeant King says that if there's any military, ex-military people in the chat, if they need any assistance with any type of claims and stuff, um, she is able to help out. Um, so Sergeant King, on your channel, do you provide um, assistance? Uh, sorry, I don't know anything, by the way, you guys. I'm not really that educated on military stuff, okay? I, it's up to you if you decide to contact her. It's I must say that, this disclaimer, because, you know, sometimes people can, you know, feel like you're endorsing something, and I'm not educated at all about military things, but Sergeant King is a military lady that's retired, so if any of you guys decide to go to her channel and get some advice and stuff, um, that's up to you, and perhaps she can be able to help you out, okay? So she's just putting that out there, that if anybody needs any support at this time, she can be there for you, okay? <laughs> Sergeant King, am I your promoter now? Am I your marketer, <laughs> Sergeant King? Oh my God, I just sounded like, <laughs> am I a promoter now, you guys? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hope I said things right, you guys. I didn't even know what I was talking about. But again, like I said, I don't know anything about military stuff. So just talk to the right people in that industry who can assist you guys, okay? So um, anyway, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for being here because I wanted to do this video a little bit early, which I didn't, but um, still I have my aqua aerobics, aqua fitness. Well, it's called aqua Zumba tomorrow. So I'm going to be going for the class. And so I just wanted to make sure I got this video out there and told you guys about Mama Mai's disrespectful behavior in Jeezy's home with me, uh, with uh, Jeannie. And it's just out of control, you guys, completely out of control. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say down below about um, Mama Mai's disrespect going into this man's closet, um, 
putting her shoes, wigs, clothes, everything all up in there, showing up unannounced, deciding to move in without even asking the couple. And Jeannie Mai as well, not even setting boundaries. It's Jeannie Mai's responsibility to also, um, you know, deal with her mom. You know, it's not Jeezy's responsibility to deal with her. It's Jeannie Mai that's supposed to tell her mom, hey, you got to go. Um, we're a family. Go to your husband. But she, I think she loves the attention that she also gets from her mom. And I think that she also likes a little bit of that chaos as well. I don't think Jeannie Mai likes to live a peaceful life. I think she kind of likes a little bit of this because when she lived a peaceful life with her first husband, she didn't, she didn't care. She didn't even fight for her first marriage, you guys. Oh yeah. She didn't even fight for it. She, she's the one that filed for the divorce. She didn't care, you know, but now this time around, she's trying to fight for, for Jeezy, which is very interesting, but she wasn't fighting for Freddie in the first marriage. She also didn't even want to give the guy any kids. And now these two have just brought all their anger, their temper. By the way, Jeannie Mai says in a video to her mom as well that she's just like her. She said, mom, I'm just like you. Um, she said, I don't like listening to authority or no. She said, I don't listen. I'm not like this or I have a temper. I'm like this. I learned it all from you. And the mom was like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I follow policy. I'm this, I'm that. I'm good. You're bad. You're a bad child. You've been a bad child for a long time. And Jeannie was like, I'm just like you, mom. Me and you were the same. So that's what GZ got. You have to take a look. It is what it is. <laughs> that's what he got, you know, and that lady has been disrespecting him as well ever since. So it is what it is. And now Jeannie Mai is just Oh, also carried on the disrespect over the same way the mom treats Ted. Jeannie Mai tried to do that as well to this guy, it appears like. So that's why he filed for the divorce and he's out, you guys. I think he's already dating, honestly. Uh, when a rapper files for divorce, you know that as soon as he filed for divorce, he probably already went out on dates. He's already done. So I would not be surprised. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And thank you for listening to another view as well. I value all of you very much. Um, <laughs> and I hope you guys have a fantastic um, morning as well. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to talk with you guys in my next video. And let me know in the comments as well if you have any video requests that you would like to share with me. Um, and I'll be more than happy uh, to deliver as well. Um, take care of yourselves, you guys, okay? Until our next conversation. Cheers.